Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Crisis. Also, we're going to be talking a bit about Supergirl and a bit about The Flash as well. So it's a whole mishmash. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we've got some massive new news that has just come out via Canada Graphs. And so Canada Graphs, as you can see in the description below, you can check out his Twitter, they actually revealed some massive information that Lucifer, aka Tom Ellis, who plays Lucifer on the TV show on Netflix now, it was on another channel and then it switched, he's actually in crisis, which is nuts. Like, I've never seen the show, but he's got a big fan base behind it, and it's a DC property, and so apparently Canada Graph saw them doing a scene with Tom Ellis dressed like Lucifer, and he says, you read this correct, hashtag crisis on infinite earths. So that is nuts, because he says there was a scene with at least four actors tonight at set, with David Ramsey, Catherine McNamara, and Matt Ryan, and there were no surprises there, and then they did a scene with Tom Ellis dressed like Lucifer, hashtag crisis. That is nuts, like, there is so many characters in this crossover that I'm a little worried, but I reckon a lot of them are just going to be cameos, so I'm actually not really that worried. You know, maybe it seems like loads, but I don't think it's actually going to be, like, too crazy. Obviously, it's going to be crazy, but it's not going to be like, oh, these people are staying for the whole crossover or something like that. I think it's a lot of the appearances are just going to be cameos. And so that is crazy. You guys freak out about that in the comments below. And now let's move on to talk about this. So this is a photo that was posted online and it's from the Gotham set. So it's outside, they've redressed, you know, part of Vancouver to be, you know, Gotham City. It says, it's like a sort of Gotham City gazette, that's what it is. So it's some sort of newsstand basically, right? And what's on top of this newsstand, we have this issue of the Gotham City gazette. This is nuts. It has Batman from the 89 Batman version on the freaking newspaper in crisis. So this confirms in another reality or another earth, this version of Batman is actually canon to crisis and what they're doing now. So that is absolutely nuts. Basically confirming that, yeah, a version of Michael Keaton's Batman does exist. And so the headline is Wayne Tech CEO Bruce Wayne to marry socialite Selena Kyle. So, obviously, he's not going to appear, but that's going to be a nice little easter egg that, you know, when we go to Gotham City, obviously we'll go to Gotham City. Maybe when we, you know, are with Batwoman, there will be a mention of him and you'll see this newspaper and it'll be a nice little easter egg. And I think it's just amazing that they are confirming, you know, all these different realities and these different things and how it all sort of links together. I think it's so exciting. So, yeah, that is the Crisis stuff, mainly. Now let's move on to talk about some Supergirl stuff, and then we'll move on to The Flash. So, we've got some new photos and a new synopsis for Supergirl. So, let's go over the synopsis first. Episode 4 of Season 5 is going to be titled In Plain Sight. And so this is the synopsis for it. Okay, so here is how it goes. Saying goodbye is hard to do. Kara's investigation into William Day's criminal activities result in the shocking revelation he is not who she thinks. Meanwhile, the conflict between Malefic and John Jones reaches a boiling point, and that is it. So that is the synopsis, it's very short, but I find the tagline really interesting. So it says, saying goodbye is hard to do, and then it continues to talk about that, but who's saying goodbye? Like, is it Kara saying goodbye to her investigation into William Day? Or is it going to be something completely different? It's going to be Malafea goes off or something like that. So I believe that it could be about someone obviously losing a family member. But like, so it could be, say, maybe Malafea dies or, you know, Jean's, I don't know, dad shows up or something like that saying goodbye. In that, you know, now Malafea has to say goodbye and maybe there is some sort of relationship and... I don't know, maybe there is a bit of humanity in him. We know that Sean's dad's coming back, so that's why I mentioned that. But anyway, so Kara's investigation continues into William Day's criminal activities, and that's in quotation marks, and the results 
come together with a shocking revelation he is not who she thinks. Okay, so I think with him actually being researched by Kara, I do believe that he's going to be fine. He's not going to be a criminal or anything like that. I think he's going to be suspicious. I think it may have something to do with his wife because maybe that is the criminal aspects. Maybe he's been, you know, with someone else or something like that. We know that he has a wedding ring and stuff like that. So I think because he's so sort of, I don't know, he's not nice to Kara. I think she's going to be digging for stuff and I think she will find some sort of criminal aspect in that aspect of, you know, himself. So I think that possibly is going to happen. Um, and like lots of people think, I don't think they're going to be like together. They're not going to be a thing because he is married. But then I think his criminal activities may have something to do with that. So Kara's not getting, you know, a new boyfriend in the idea that it is William Day. Because there's not going to be. And so the next bit of the synopsis is, Meanwhile, the conflict between Malefic and Jean Jones reaches a boiling point. So episode 3 is heavily to do with them. They have flashbacks in the episode. Also there's flashbacks next episode. So it's going to be boiling up. It's going to be heating up for them. And they're going to be, you know, heavily involved together. And so with them reaching a point, I think it's going to be towards, you know, nearing a resolution of their story. Because this will be episode four. And his story is going to be pretty much over by episode eight. So not a very long time until they actually wrap that up. Because I do believe that wrapping up Malefic's story before the end of Crisis. Okay, so let's move on to talk about these Supergirl photos. So this is from Blurred Lines, episode three, which is going to be quite a lot to do with Sean Jones and Malefic. And so this is the first photo. So we've got James in his Guardian suit, and he is fully suited up. Obviously, this is gonna be one of James's last episodes because, you know, Mikada's left the show. He's working on a new Mortal Kombat film. And so, yeah, he's. this is gonna be one of his last episodes. Okay, so we get this shot right here, this photo of Supergirl. I'm not sure where they are, they're in like some sort of hotel lounge, it looks kind of a bit fancy. So she's in a full Supergirl suit, you can see everything on show and like I said, I love this suit already. This is my favourite photo, you get to see Melissa as Kara as Supergirl, standing next to a wall, staring upon something. I'm not sure who it is, maybe she's in conversation, but you know, her lips are not moving and they're not like midway. So is she looking upon something else? I'm not sure. Okay, so then we got this photo of Alex inside the DEO. So she's back in the DEO, which is exciting. But I love the idea that this season we get to explore Alex more, you know, on a personal basis like we did in season two. So I'm really looking forward to that stuff as well. Okay, so we got this photo right here. We got James and Supergirl. So they're in the DEO, I don't think we actually went to the DEO last episode, but they had this like sort of new DEO base that we've never seen before. So yeah, maybe we'll go back there, maybe we won't. But anyway, so they're back here and yeah. Then we got this photo and I think this may link into how James is going to leave the show, but you see him in this bed. He's obviously been attacked as Guardian, he's been beaten up and you know, he looks pretty screwed up. But Alex is here. And also, Brainy's here, and I think this is definitely going to lead into him, you know, stopping. Okay, so now we move on to the next photo, and this is really interesting, because on Twitter, people were like, why the hell are there two Karas in this photo? And I can see why you think that. Like, they are wearing pretty much the same, the hairstyle is pretty much the same. Yeah, it kind of looks like Kara in front of her, but it's not. It's someone else, just kind of similar. So you have Nia, you have Kara, you have Julie as obviously the new character, Andrea Rojas, and also William Day, who obviously those two were a bit of a prick last episode, so yeah, and Kara's going to be in for something. And then we got this photo, same place, we got Nia and we got Kara sitting next to each other, and so they are listening to some sort of speech, it seems like. Okay, so now moving on, we got this photo of Kara and Lena, so it seems Lena is still faking Takara about her being fine with it because obviously the big revelation towards the end of episode one was she's not fine with it but she's going to pretend because she's going to find a way to hurt Kara and Supergirl. So we get this photo of Kara smiling and it seems like this is again with Lena 
But yeah, so let's move on to talk about the Flash. Just a quick thing. I'm not going to go over the photos that were released, but you can check them out. I think I'll do a video on that in the next couple of days for the Dead Man Running episode. I'm just going to go over the synopsis for There Will Be Blood for episode 4 of season 6. So this is the Halloween episode, my birthday, just saying. And this is how the synopsis goes. Barry's efforts to prepare Cisco for crisis are derailed when Cisco schemes to save Barry's life instead. Meanwhile, Ramsey uses his deadly new abilities to save his own life while sacrificing his humanity in the process. Okay, so really good synopsis. Like, that's a really interesting synopsis. So Barry's trying to prepare Cisco for crisis. And I believe he's trying to set him up to be the team leader, to be in charge once Barry's gone. So he's just preparing him, right? But then Cisco schemes to save Barry's life instead, and that derails Barry's plans. So I'm not sure in which way he's going to do that. Maybe it's somehow tinkering with time travel. Maybe it is, you know, different timelines. I'm not sure, but I am sure very interested. Okay, so then we talk about Ramsey actually getting his new abilities to save his life so he will be sacrificing his humanity in the process so he will essentially be engulfed by bloodworks powers so that's about it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe to not miss any videos and i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.